Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Bombardier Global 7000 makes first flight, stand by for drones at Disney theme parks, Jabiru improves their J-170 trainer plane. I'm Brie Cross, it's November 10th, 2016, and this is Airborne Limited. The maiden flight of the first Bombardier Global 7000 was completed late last week. The initial flight of the first flight test vehicle marked the start of an aggressive flight test campaign, which, if all goes according to plan, should see the aircraft enter into service in the second half of 2018. Dedicated to testing basic system functionality and assessing the handling and flying qualities of the aircraft, the flight lasted approximately two and a half hours, during which all flight controls were exercised, and as reported, the systems and aircraft performed as expected. The flight reached an altitude of 20,000 feet and attained a planned test speed of 240 knots. David Colliel, the president of Bombardier Business Aircraft, said in part, quote, The first flight is the culmination of an incredible amount of knowledge and experience from our dedicated employees, partners, and suppliers. This is a very proud moment for Bombardier and confirms the Global 7000 Aircraft Program development is on schedule. The Magic Kingdom is adding new technologies as UAVs will likely soon be a common sight over Walt Disney Company theme parks in Florida and California. It's been announced the FAA issued the entertainment giant a waiver for their use. Disney first applied for the waiver last year. The aircraft called Flixels will be used for fireworks shows and other displays, including nighttime use of drones. The Orlando Sentinel reports that the FAA said in issuing its waiver that the company has established adequate mitigation for risks. The company said in its application that the aircraft will fly mostly over water at a maximum altitude of 150 feet above ground level and away from guest areas at all times. And here's an important reminder, the operation of drones by park visitors is still strictly prohibited. After the break, Jabiru brings updated trainer to DeLand Sport Aviation Expo. Explore No Limits Flying in the FAA Certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best-selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Jabiru North America says that Australia's most popular LSA trainer has been improved and updated to the J-170D model. This was one of the aircraft on display at the inaugural DeLand Sport Aviation Expo held last week. Pete Crotey, the president of Jabiru North America, said, quote, The J-170 SP has been a great trainer here in the USA, with its stout landing gear, stable handling, and fuel economy of less than four gallons per hour in daily use. Crotey added that a redesign of the SP vertical stabilizer with a more swept stance and a wider airfoil shape on the new 170D makes the aircraft more stable and requires less rudder input than before. The introductory price of below 100 grand includes a Garmin G3X touchscreen EFIS, Garmin communication radio and mode S transponder, 2020 compliant ADS-B in and out, and night lighting package. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. <music> the 
This week we have the pleasure of acknowledging a member of our Airborne Partnership Initiative that literally needs no introduction except for three letters, EAA. The Experimental Aircraft Association was founded by Paul H. Poboresny in 1953 with the vision of establishing and promoting a strong community for the furtherance of home-building aircraft. Thousands of home-built airplanes fill the sky in large part because of the EAA and what it has done for those who desire the rewarding experience of building and flying their own aircraft. However, EAA has expanded far beyond the goals of its origin. It now represents hundreds of thousands of aviation-minded people who fly for recreation and enjoyment. And of course, the annual EAA convention known as EAA Airventure Oshkosh is a world-renowned aviation event. For the last two years at EAA AirVenture, our partnership with EAA proved its value by leading to the highly successful ANN video programming known as the Airborne Innovation Preview or simply the AIP. We're looking forward to presenting an even more powerful version of the AIP in 2017. EAA sets the tone for recreational aviation and we at ANN are honored to be associated with this fine organization. After these messages, Emirate Airlines is retiring 26 airliners. The dream is real, a truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Emirate Airlines will be retiring 26 older airliners of three different types in a move it says will simplify its fleet. The aircraft being retired are Airbus A330-300s, Airbus A340-300 and 500s, as well as several Boeing 777 variants. GKN Aerospace in Hazelwood, Missouri has announced that it is closing its composites department, which will result in a loss of 300 jobs. The company is expected to move those jobs to Alabama, but did not specify a timetable for the move. A day after instructors walked off the job saying they had not been paid, Tracks Air Flight School in Orlando, Florida notified the FAA that they were closing. A spokeswoman also said the school was considering surrendering its pilot school certification. The FAA has announced the recent award of $33.7 million in grants to nine airports around the country to reduce emissions and improve air quality. The grants are issued through the FAA's Voluntary Airport Low Emission and Zero Emissions Airport Vehicle Programs. Airbus forecasts that China will need nearly 6,000 new passenger aircraft and freighters from 2016 to 2035. The forecast predicts domestic air traffic in China will become the world's number one traffic flow, growing over three times from today's already impressive levels. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The inaugural DeLand Sport Aviation Expo brought out a number of major players in the sport aviation industry, and while official attendance numbers have not been released, the show appeared to be fairly well attended, and there was a lot of flying going on. The exhibitors included such well-known names as Bristol, Pipistrel, Kit Fox, Vans Aircraft, Rands Aircraft, a new Jabiru airplane, and Cub Crafters. There were also several gyrocopters and ultralight manufacturers represented on the field. In the exhibitor's tent, visitors found avionics geared to the sport aviation industry and other aftermarket items available for sale. The expo featured a keynote address from EAA's Charlie Becker, 
the Director of Chapters, Communities, and Home Built Community Manager. He also spoke at two of the kit building forums. Our a and staff was in attendance and reports seeing a number of young people participating in the event and several innovative displays, such as Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University students showing up with a battery-powered airplane. Overall, if this event could be equated to the test flight of a new airplane, we'd say the flight went well. The second annual event is already being planned for November 2nd through the 4th, 2017. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.